New York City. The Roaring Twenties. I just sent out the trailer for the play, or I should say the coming attraction for the play that my theater group is going to be putting on. And it, I'm very excited because we haven't done this in 18 months. And while Broadway has been documented, because that's what everyone thinks of theater, but theater is really about small individual projects, community theater, theater groups. And that's, those are really actually far more intimate than a Broadway play. Because there you're one of a thousand people and you can, you know, it's almost like looking at a sporting arena. But this, a hundred seat theater, and I'm a little anxious and I'm a little nervous, but I'm really excited. And so I thought that in addition to sending out the preview of coming attractions, which I will tell you, I looked at Roman Holiday, and I don't have the graphics capacity to do it exactly like that, but I was inspired by, we have to give them something that would excite them, but not tell them everything. But now it's time to see what there is about making a play in front of a live audience with live people that is so much more satisfying than a Zoom play. Now, as we get back, we're going to have to deal with certain precautions. And we are dealing with certain precautions. And we're going to look into that. And we're going to also look into... I'm going... To, it's like reinventing, or I should say reintroducing myself to live theater. Because when I first did it, I didn't know what to expect, both with what it's like to perform in front of people and the process of rehearsing and being in a play interacting with other actors in real fashion and it's very satisfying and that's what I've missed over the last 18 months and here we go it's gonna be fun it's only two performances it was in fact it was a zoom play that we did in January or March February I can't even remember where the the time is you know how I you know what I have to do to remember when I did something is I have to go back on my email list do a search for the lost silk hat and then it comes up and then I can follow the string of events that led up to the performance of the lost silk hat. I shouldn't say performance. We, we didn't film it. We didn't video it. We zoomed it. We zoomed our performances and then we cut and paste it. And while it looks like we're kind of together, that's at least the kind of together we were allowed back then. Now we're really going to be together. So I am going to give my, I'm going to document my journey as we come back to rehearsal. What one has to do to rehearse well and be ready for a play. And I'm going to talk to the people who I'm working with, the producers, the actors. Now we have real life and this real life is going to be exciting so thank you for listening and uh, if there's any comments please leave them below and uh, that's all once again an audience will come to our theater they'll take their seats the lights will dim house to black and then the curtain will open